Hola, clase. So what I'm going to be looking at this week are these two words, deberías and debes, which mean you should. So we're going to use these verbs to give people advice. So debes, you should. You can use this verb, deber, to ask what you should do, and you can use it to tell people what they should do. Here's some examples. ¿Qué debo hacer? What should I do? And the response, debes prestar atención. You should pay attention. Now, Clase, you're going to have to look back at your vocabulario, uh, 4-1, to see the verbs that I want you to use because we're going to be specifically talking about suggestions and advice for people in the classroom. Another way I can use and tell people what they should do is deberías. It's a softer way of saying you should. If someone asks what they should do, you can use debes or deberías to say what they should do. For example, someone asks you, I failed the test. What should I do? And a response uh, in Spanish, it's Repro reprobre el examen. ¿Qué debo hacer? And you should ask questions. Oh, you should ask questions in class. Debes hacer preguntas en clase. Say, hacer preguntas is one of our vocabulary words and debes is another one too. So take a look at this worksheet here. This, this picture we're going to use in our Spanish Cafe activity in uh, Wednesday and Thursday. ¿Qué deben hacer? What should these kids do? And so I'm going to be using that and you guys are going to be talking about what these people should do. And, and you need to refer to the vocabulary. Aprender de memoria. Uh, aprobar is to pass. Apuntar is to make note of. Cometer errores. Copiar. So you can review these vocabulary words and because you're going to be talking about uh, what these people should do. For example, this guy right here that's arriving late. ¿Qué debo hacer? What should I do? And then the advice that I'm going to give that person is deberías llegar a tiempo. You should arrive on time. So I'm using the verb debes. Debes llegar a tiempo. You should arrive on time. And I believe that is right here. Llegar a tiempo. To get somewhere on time. So I gave that person some advice. Debes llegar a clase a tiempo. You should arrive to class on time. Okay, so that is kind of some examples that we're going to work on in class using this vocabulary. Here are the words in the vocabulary 4-1. Deberías, you should, that softer way of saying it. And then debes, you should, ought to. Okay, and then we have all these other words here that are going to be used too. So become familiar with these vocabulary words because we're going to use them that, this week. Okay, amigos, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Adios.